almost penniless again, seeking somewhere to work undisturbed so that he might get Tristan and Isolde down in some shape, Wagner chose to go to Venice at an agreeable time of the year, or so he hoped. When he got there, he found it gloomy. The gloom about him reinforced the gloom within him. Liszt had advised him not to go to Venice. Liszt was probably right, but here he was, with his piano, and determined to work. Could he but find lodgings? Peace, quiet. And he was ill again with dysentery. And he was still on the list of wanted revolutionaries. Venice, part of the Austrian Empire, should have been safe. But all empires distrust restless men who find their names on lists. And Wagner knew it. He saw the crumbling buildings between the buildings, the steady lap, lap, lick, lick of the water on the stone. And he sank deeper and deeper into himself until he could stand it no longer and demanded the biggest apartment that could be found. Hang the expense. Space was what he needed. Hang the gloom. He would fill the space with warmth. His warmth, his energy, must be the source. He would report to the chief of police and get it over just as soon as he found somewhere. Herr Wagner, uh, Herr Wagner, you are come in such rooms, sir. Uh, not here, uh, not here, sir. Uh, next door, if you would be so pleased, Unhand sir. Unhand me, sir. Uh, through here, Herr Wagner. Large, but not too large, I fancy. Are you... Are, are you <clears throat> intent on a long stay? There is the matter of... Um, uh, references. <laughs> These walls, are they filthy or are they just afflicted by the gloom? Grey. Hangings. I must have hangings. And what furniture is there? A small deposit. Herr Wagner. Art in the revolution. Judaism in music. Opera and drama. A communication to my friends. Sig Siegfried. Siegfried's death. And uh, your health, Herr Wagner? I improve, sir. Our chief of police of Vienna says I'm to send you packing as soon as your health improves. Venice being under rule of Austria, I'm obliged to comply with requests to have your letters inspected. As well as a discreet watch on those that have come under suspicion of revolutionary intentions. Because I admire you as an artist and a thinker, Herr Wagner, you shall not be inconvenienced during your stay here. Well done, gentlemen. Rousey. Rousey. 
see what you can do with Verdi next. If you devote yourself exclusively to your profession as the begetter of the so-called music of the future, then Venice is honored to have you, sir. And I shall say as much to that Austrian, indeed I shall, as for the Saxon authorities, they can go to hell. You will be watched, because I need to show my Austrian masters that I heed their instructions. But my agents will be told to help you, if they can. Do they copy music? Story, Doctor Chalamon. The anecdote of the Duchess and the Doctor. The Doctor bleeding the Duchess, and while he was doing it, she came to her senses and told him he was an insolent fellow. How dare he have bled her in her presence? <laughs> I am Dolgorukov. Have I, I am your servant, sir. Zishi is my name. Yes, uh, we are both full of admiration for your work. Oh, we have seen everything of yours. Everything. I have not seen Lohengrin yet. Not been given the chance. Yes. Uh, Lohengrin, yes, we saw that in Vienna. Great Jan Foyser, we saw in Berlin. Yes, the greatest public success given to us. Yes. Sir, you will be transferred. What? With delight, when you can find time to visit somewhere where it is being given. It does come through her knowledge of it. Uh, they do. I mean, they do. You may catch it in Karlsruhe, have I? Yes. I would be so interested in your reaction. Do you feel that it is not necessary to see your work given? I saw Tango, sir, in the rain. Indeed, it did not spoil my enjoyment one bit. No. At the summer theatre, Lerchenfeld, the rain came down and I left. But I had up to that moment of my departure been transported. Had you been? Yes, indeed. I'd been transported. And shall you give anything here? Have you invented? We leave tomorrow. Yes.
been bitter these last months. You have left your wife? I have needed money. What is this of you and Cosima von Bulow? <sighs> well, it was a shock. The daughter of Liszt married to my... to our friend von Bulow. Uh, Out on the lake. What are you babbling about? Baron in von Bulow. Who? Out on the lake, she threatened to drown herself. For love. For me. You? Ah, Liszt has gone from Weimar. So we can't expect anything from him anymore. He tells me Tristan is a delight <laughs> to him. You said my Tristan was wrong. What? Oh, God, now they're doing Rienzi. Oh, salute him, salute him. <laughs> okay. I sometimes get a meal from the officers of his regiment. What, Tristan? I tried to write the... And so you did. That was wrong. Very wrong. You don't know anything about... about... The sooner they go off and fight the French, the better. Give the French Tannhäuser, boys. There is to be a war, Carl. My Tristan was not that bad an idea. You poor booby. Herr Wagner, I must warn you, my family has very little money left. We cannot continue to give you any more money. Well, why can't you sell something? Oh, very well. My God, you are so tiresome, all of you. When will you understand? Money, money, money. That's all I want from you and Liz, both of you. Tiresome. I should go back to my true friends, the Wesendonks. Do not follow me to Switzerland unless you're prepared to put your hand in your pocket some more. Tell your mother that. And I am not the only person in Venice owed money by Herr Wagner. Months of rent he owes me. What has he left me in payment? Paper. Paper. Take back your hangings. I don't want them. Have them. Tristan and Isolde. Will you dedicate it to me, do you think? Destination, Heschels? Paris, why not?
My dear fellow, how good to see you. <laughs> Wiesendonck. Tannhäuser Wiesendonck in Paris. They want to do it. Offer me a contract. Paris at last. The Emperor himself, very interested in German opera ever since his uh, war with Austria. I was in Venice when the Austrian army was marched away. They went off playing Tannhäuser. <laughs> well, the Emperor beat them but has become very pro-German since, I'm told. Do you know my piano got safely over the past? Not a bit out of tune. What? Well, Tristan finished. And already I'm thinking of a comedy. So, do you know about the Master Singers? Mm. Uh, a comedy, but full of melancholy. But to attack Paris the way the Austrians were not able to, I shall need funds. How, uh, how is Frau Wiesendonck? We've had some correspondence. I would hope to see her the longer my departure to Paris is, uh, is delayed. My dear father. No, 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 no. Consider an investment. Some small part of it in actual coin if you would be so kind. And do give your wife my warmest greetings. <laughs> Wiesendonck, my dear friend. How much? It's a ballet. We must have a ballet. I should do something about the rather tame bacchanal in the first act. I've always thought I might make it more voluptuous, give Venus uh, more. Let us make Frau Venus a real woman. Eroticism, music, to lay bare our most secret passions, our most sensual yearnings to excite our senses. Yes, yes. Tasteful, I hope. Tasteful. Tasteful? Do you know, Monsieur Raya, this is the first time I've been in a theater on the stage of a theatre for many years. In the first act? Yes. You would put the ballet in the first act? That's where it can go. In Paris, Monsieur Wagner, the ballet is always placed in the second act in order that a gentleman of the town might see it. In our experience, uh, ballet in the first act is too early and the third too late. The gentlemen of the town have already gone elsewhere for their, their... Uh... No, no. A ballet in the first act will not attract the town. Uh, there you have it, Monsieur Wagner. Please meet Petit Pas, who will design your ballet. Please, he will explain. Monsieur Wagner. Uh, Petit Pas. <laughs> Monsieur Petit Pas, <laughs> he's the ballet master. Oh, master. <laughs> Might one say, Herr Wagner, that in Paris, uh, gentlemen dine at eight? <laughs> well, uh, the orchestra. Competent, I think. Quite a number of them are German. Oh, there you are. They're the best in the world. <laughs> and because they uh, dine at eight, they can repair to the opera in time for the second act, where they expect to find a ballet, as they will find tonight with Nabucco, as you see. <laughs> you are ill-advised, Herr Wagner. I never accept advice. I advise you. Oh, do you? Oh, from my heart. Ah, deep felt. You, um... We are accustomed to a ballet in the second act in Paris, and uh, the members of the jockey club, uh, they will not accept your opera, should it not have... Uh, let me tell you this, Herr Wagner. Without the jockey club's attention, we are lost, lost, lost. And that is fact. Is it? Absolutely fact. Ah. And which act will the emperor wish to see? If these gentlemen only wish to see a second act, I shall make that the best act. I beg your pardon. 
The Emperor will wish to see the entire opera, of course. And in time, you <laughs> should see it. Note on note, every sound, every note as I intend it, in the place I intend it to be. And that does not mean I shall give way to a gentleman who would rather see Verdi in under things, rather lech among the sprites than listen to them. How well does Verdi write second acts for brothels? Does he prosper? Brothels? If they can do this to a revolutionary like Verdi, what are they going to do to me, Hans? Well, we ain't going to let them, Hans. Not an inch do we give the whoremasters. I'm revising the whole thing. Well, most of it. Indeed, some of it. The uh, tone of it. Its color. Why? So it would seem the more sensual. This? Oh, a gift from an admirer. On Wednesdays, I am at home. Minna, it might please you to attend. I now have a public position, which you, as a wife, must share with me. But this part of the apartment is mine. I am your wife. Yes, of course you are. Where has the money come from? That is no concern of yours. I must be able to receive people. My soirees are attended by brilliant and gifted people with influence. Women admirers? Don't be silly. Admirers, supporters, subscribers. I cannot appear to be less than they. My beer gives money away by the cartload, as if it were done, which indeed it is. And you do not soil your hands in such dung, I take it? These are going to be your rooms. I would expect you to stay in this part of the house. But I hope you will make an appearance when we have guests. Just an appearance. There's no need to be involved in anything. You, uh, you have a maid. Two pianos. Where does the money come from? I have a contract for nine months. I give concerts. All these copyists! You were forced to work as a copyist once. Now you employ them by the regiment. How can you pay for them? They are paid. They are necessary. There is new music, a ballet. Much to be done between Venus and Tannhäuser in French. If the music sticks, it's going to be a devil of a job to change this back into German. That awful Venus. I'm never able to accept her. No, and I doubt you ever will. Are you given money by Weisendonk? I have been. And what are you given by his wife? I shall not suffer that again. Go to your rooms. I do not expect you to enter these rooms unless you are invited. I must sit down. I feel faint. I would not wish you to be responsible for my death.
fire, passion. Gentlemen! Gentlemen? Gentlemen? We are not Prussian soldiers, but free men. Be so kind as to explain what you mean by that, sir. Herr Wagner, the time has come to say to you, after interminable rehearsals, sir, some hundred or so to date, sir, we refuse to be drilled like Germans, even those of us who are Germans. I shall need more rehearsals from all of you, not less. I shall supply you with lunch and wine, and I shall pay you extra out of my own pocket. Bravo! 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 Yes, yes. Sorry, my fault. I am Albert Niemann. I will sing Tannhäuser. I'm Richard Wagner. This is my assistant, Hans von Bulow. Do you want me? It is a thought. I am the greatest. I hear that you are. Uh, what's the fee? I shall hear you first. An audition? To give auditory trial? Well... I know the role backwards. Interesting, interesting. How does that sound? Hör an, Wolfram. An. Im Rost, im Herzen, Have a ballet in the second act. You have lost the services of the principal dancer. That is so. Why? They will not appear. I can obtain for you three Hungarian dancers. Mm. Monsieur Wagner, we beg of you. Reconsider. No. You will have your ballet, but it must be in the first act. I must portion it in the first act. You will play to an empty theater. Oh. You are being used. That does not happen to me. There's more to this. Tannhäuser, political complexities. I rejected politics. They are nothing to me. It is even said that although France won the war, there was a secret clause in the peace treaty which imposed the production of Tannhäuser on Paris. <laughs> a German opera at the command of the French emperor 
influenced, some say, by an Austrian princess, Metternich. Can't imagine why. I've heard she can't tell a fugue from a fugal horn. But you must have friends. I've already been approached. I refuse, I refuse to employ them. Then you risk a great deal. Advertising simply to make money. Bits and pieces, my dear. Bits and pieces. Now, Wagner, you deal with a Jewess. If you want money, you must sign a note. It is necessary. Yes, in the case of such a person as Madame Schwabe, it is certainly necessary. Why, sir, would it not be? I lend you money. You are taking a journey into the music of the future. <laughs> Isn't that what he says? You give me a promissory note. Ah, I do indeed. For the sum of 3,000 francs. You cut, cut, cut! I shall want to get through my role as quickly as possible. Me, 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 me. My voice, you see. This is my opera, and unless you consider it so, then scout out for another Tannhäuser. Well, take it down an octave, change a few notes, anything. It's only music after all. Oh. Monsieur Royer, I must conduct the orchestra myself. I've had 164 rehearsals with the orchestra, and now within days of giving my town hoist, I'm, I'm told I'm not allowed to conduct. Uh, listen to it, do. We must allow the musical director of the opera house to conduct his own orchestra. His orchestra, mine. I sharp it. <laughs> and the corps de ballet is a disgrace. Oh, it is. It is not. Indeed it is. Look at that lumpish lump. Oh, yes. <laughs> I compose music for a wild dance, wild, bold, sensual, and look, what do I have? Indeed. If you will be given ballet in the second deck, will you consider a dance in the mess between the acts so that someone. No, no, no! no. Charm through the admirers of. Et pas de trois. I am patronized by the Emperor. Yes, yeah, simply because he wishes to placate the Republicans by showing favor to one, to one such as yourself. It's because he's persuaded by Princess Metternich that he should hear Wagner after all these years. Wagner, do you understand? Paris is to see Wagner. Wagner, a serious and dedicated artist among this. There's also a growing dislike of the influence of Princess Metternich, uh, who is Austrian. I know she is Austrian. We speak the same language to some extent. Ah, Petipa, I'm in despair. Look at that. Monsieur Wagner, I am the finest ballet master in the whole of France. Monsieur Sachs informs me there are not 12 French horns in the whole of Paris. It is true. And they must be made. Oh, I cannot do it in time. Uh, might I suggest Petipa, that... Oh, do you not understand what I've written? It is a bacchanal. Yes. And if I try to do it in order to attempt it, I would need all the premier dancers. And even so, were I to ask them to give uh, that which you demand, the passion you expect, and your music indicates, were I to, Monsieur Wagner, in their tutus, we would simply end with the concords. Can-can. <laughs> 
Paris is the center of the musical world. It cannot be helped. And a Paris is not German. In Europe, a success in Paris is desirable. Scores sold, works taken up and given. Wagner was well aware of the importance of the occasion. Well aware as he faced his first opening night for 16 years. Hi, Wagner. Sir. I am here to wish you success. Thank you. You are sure of it? Thank you. I can guarantee it. Sir, I do not intend to pay you anything, you or any other member of your clan. Well, I can guarantee nothing. I, however, can guarantee everything. I'm well aware that you, sir, have these in your pocket. Do you talk to me, sir? Herr Meyerbeer, I do talk to you. Would you wish me to speak in Hebrew so that your friends might understand? I have never borne you any ill will, Herr Wagner. Indeed, when you were a younger man, I thought I had done you some service. The service was indeed slight, but I thank you for what you did. Though I fancy any person of discrimination would have done the same. It was obvious that my work had to be recommended, even by you. There is nothing wrong with packing the house with friends. I don't buy friends or praise. From what one hears, the flow of money goes one way only, Herr Wagner. I read your pamphlet on jewelry and music. It was written with such as you in mind. You used my name several times. How did you find the argument? I found it clever, but offensive. I prefer to consider it the work of a bitter and frustrated man. I shall ignore it. I have had letters from unfortunate Jewish musicians who plead with me to show them a way out of their misery, thus presented to them. You shall have no letters from me, sir. I take it you paid for your ticket? One should always do one's best for one's fellow musicians. Allow me to reimburse you for what will probably be a disappointing evening for you. Oh, come now, Tannhäuser is quite a good piece. Over long, but uh, quite well crafted. It is wonderful and wonderfully given. It is all I would wish it to be. That will be your disappointment, sir. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Things that have happened to us in the past. I try to put them out of my mind, but they're always there at times such as these. The frightening, shameful, terrifying things. We have both fled. We have both been hunted down for debt, for intrigue, for debt. The Cossacks, always on our heels. I know, even at our moments of greatest security, even when success trembles, please, please.
人。Neiman wasn't good enough, was he? Quite. Mm. When you are recovered, you must go to live in Dresden. Perhaps. You? Not sure. Princess Metternich is attempting to obtain for me a passport. Perhaps I should be allowed back in Germany at last. I shall not stay in Paris. Vienna, perhaps. I hate the French above all others. Such disgusting behavior. Yes. If I am recorded with a passport, I will visit you. As you wish. I intend to take the waters in Soden. That I knew. I have it arranged with Susanelli. You despise me. No. I hate you. Minerve. Minerve, you don't. Perhaps. Bulo is trying to persuade the Grand Duke of Baden to have me in Karlsruhe. I shall, uh, I shall ask for a small pension. Do we like Karlsruhe? Perhaps. Tristan and Isolde, perhaps. That miserable moan. That disgusting moan. My husband wrote that. That filth, that drug. When he was besought with Matilda Weisendonck. Culture carrion. And impossible to perform. I know. You will not find a singer to sing it, I know. Maybe. Richard, promise me no more lewdness with women. No more infatuations with women like Frau Weisendonck. Promise me.
You're cruel. Heartless. I'm glad I'm going away. What would you do now? I'm offered a post in Berlin. They think of starting an orchestra there. <laughs> Berlin. And you? Switzerland, perhaps. I must leave Paris. That I know. Paris. Look at it, Bulo. There's a market for anything in Paris. Even the leavings from the tables of the rich. Smuggled out by servants. Still sourced by their master's spit, no doubt. Backdoor bones from restaurants. Paris won't pick on my bones, even if I have to concertize. Paris can afford anything, can buy anything, anything, buy it and waste it. We are gentlemen of the three inns, Bureau. In debt, in danger, and in poverty. Two are enough for any man. Wagner became a journeyman again. Concertizing, seeking a settled existence, a place to work, a patron to pick up his bills, a theatre to offer him welcome. Always in his mind there nagged the thought that somewhere there was a person with the vision and the courage to offer him everything he might need to realize his ideas. No state in Germany would open its doors to him. The insignificant princelings Wagner and his friends had challenged were banded against him. Everywhere that he went, his piano went as well. But most of all, he needed time. Money to buy time. His operas were given true, but the income from them was small. He was becoming increasingly desperate that he would never be given the chance to do the great work he knew would assure his place. But first he tried Switzerland again, tried Wiesendock again. Your wife? Not good. Yours? Frau Wesendonk. She enjoys excellent health. Yes, good. And your health? Mine? Your afflictions? Yes, yes. The usual. Your skin. What'd you say? Hmm? I hope to complete Siegfried. And for Rheingold and Valkyrie. 24,000 francs would be an excellent investment. I do assure you, Otto, you will be the person who gains. The ring is going to be a tremendous piece. You ought to be my business partner, insofar as the ring is concerned. I'll throw in uh, Meistersinger. Soon finish that, if I can get a pension and, and somewhere to live. Investment in what, Wagner? I already hold publishing rights to the ring. Investment in what? In me. In me, damn you, in me. Perhaps. Have you tried... Vienna. On the other hand, I know any reputable moneylender who would show you some courtesy on my encomium. Thank you, Wiesendorf. But I will not take money from those who have no conception of my worth. I'm not a swindler. Grand Duke of 
Barton is thinking of placing his theatre at my disposal. Is he? Uh, that's why I'm here in Vienna, to look for singers for my opera, Tristan. I shall see you don't find them. Ah, but Highness, I... I, I why not give us your opera here? Ah, but... Uh, in Vienna we can do it so much better. Your Highness. Herr this is Herr Wagner. Your Highness. One of the most important critics in Vienna, Herr Wagner. I have a great admiration for you, sir. Dr. Hanslick is a very prominent critic. I know him, ma'am. My dear Wagner, we must all learn to deal with our critics. Artists in royalty are expected to smile. He has attacked me and my work, Tannhäuser, viciously and persistently. He is a pedant, a time server. One day I shall show him what he is. I'll put him in a synagogue. My dear Wagner, the Grand Duke is not interested in Tristan and Isolde. He is interested in you. He sees you as a political feather in his cap. He has told me as much. You are the German composer who was patronized by the Emperor Napoleon. You will find that carries a great deal of weight with minor German princelings. Frau Kapellmeisterin? Sir. Herr, Herr Doctor, I is that... Yes. He owes me money. He owes us all money. Is she ill? Yes. He comes every day to petition the minister to allow Wagner back. Were we not all revolutionaries? I ask you that. I was his oboist, heaven help me. I sought change, heaven help me. to help but well if there's nothing in Berlin I may as well try Russia Tristan in Vienna with the princess hopeless I continue to work on it simple piece but the difficulties that tenor will never be able to see it doesn't understand a word of it never been in love in his life I rewrite and rewrite to suit his voice Meister singer is the thing some money anyway, and a household around me. I've arranged it for piano. Might be something. You could sell your fur coat. He can't go to Russia without a fur coat. Got it cheap from a Jew in Vienna. He asked 220 talers. I told him, I explained to him, that I had only been given 200 talers for the concert. So therefore, he knocked 20 talers off the price. I could sell this. If only I could find a Jew in Berlin. The Grand Duke of Baden gave it to me. I asked him for a pension, a house, a modest retainer, so that I might settle to Meistersinger. And he gave me that. In Vienna, they told me that Tristan is unperformable. Brian Gold, Valkyrie, two acts of Siegfried, almost. But not the music, not yet. But it's there, if only I can settle long enough. Oh, I'm so weary. I came near to doing away with myself. Maybe I shall. Not until you've at least heard my piano arrangement of Meistersinger. Weizmann is your Jew. He can sell anything. I shall take it to him now. At least you will have some money to get you to St. Petersburg. My dear fellow.
Frau Kapell, my Sterin. The minister is not able to see you today. Would it be convenient? Might you call back tomorrow? Illness keeps us apart. I would like to be with my husband. But I cannot travel. Well, my poor good Mutz, my Minerl, my good soul, how do you find yourself? I work and work in Russia, find myself soaked to the skin on numerous occasions, find myself enduring all the so-called joys of travel, always beset by companions. Wherever I can find someone will let me stand in front of an orchestra and wave a baton, a wretched baton. How does your health? Be patient, and it will improve, of that I'm sure. Let me know all of your treatments in detail. I'm interested in their workings. I still suffer, but so it goes. So keep fond of me. Goodbye, good old Frau Mina. Warmest sympathy from your Richard. to change everything. Think more of your position, Richard, and less of changing everything. You hack away and hack away, and you're not in a position to. You sit in the branch and hack at the tree. I'm in the tree with you. My worst enemy is here in my own house. Oh, no. Not I. He's so, so always in a turmoil. Schemes, ideas, not his business. It is his business to present music for the king. That's all and enough for anyone. Dresden is one of the former theaters in Germany. We are so lucky. I don't want kindness, I want money, and I want a theater. I have plays, ideas for plays, ideas for reform. They're good, well-thought-out ideas. What happens to them? My report on the state of the Royal Orchestra. What about that? Three months to prepare. Three months, not even read by the king. My ideas for a national theater of Germany. What about that? Not taken seriously. Well, if there isn't a Germany... Akunini, please. Calling on the soldiers not to fight us. Idiots. You know that nobody will be able to stage it. Do I? Yes. You? Me? Yes, you. You mock me for my seriousness. But if one is not serious about work, what then? Desolation. There is a stage. It is out there. It is going to happen. But Wagner did go back to Vienna destitute again, all he had earned gone, and very little coming in. But once again, he found friends, sought out Jews who would advance him on security of his friends, found another woman, settled to his stated task of mounting Tristan and Isolde in Vienna. While here in Dresden, we began to listen sympathetically to the pleadings of Frau Wagner. 
Her husband employed seamstresses by the score, stitching him into silk. I was an enormous success in St. Petersburg. Oh, really? This, this uh, modest establishment in Vienna, my favorite city in the world, where all my friends are. But I do need that our house, your house now, my house, be kept in order. The cellar's full. To this end, my present wife, being unwell, unable to take care of me, perhaps I will divorce her. <laughs> I ask you to marry me, Frederica. Richard. Thank you. His Majesty has again considered the case of her Wagner. And in view of the great esteem that your husband is afforded throughout Germany, His Majesty is inclined to grant an amnesty so that her Wagner might visit you here in Dresden, in the city which was first to recognize his genius. reputation to think of. You are his mistress. I shall not rehearse while you are in the building. Herr Wagner, master, I am unwell. My voice is in shreds. I am not able to sing Tristan. I am free. I am free. I can go back. Mina, it is I, Richard. You have come. Yes. How is it here? Pleasant. When I am well. And you are not? I'm better now. We've prepared a bedroom for you. Natalie. She is very proud to have recovered your old desk here in Dresden. Yes. She hopes you still remember it. Will you stay? Study. I expect you still owe everyone money. I expect I do. You demand 3,000 marks a year from me. And what you provide in return, hmm? A settled household, hmm? Vienna is an opportunity. The best I've had yet. The city is welcoming. The theater is... Oh, it's a chance, man. Huh? Chance, good chance. If I can manage to put... Tristan on, when it's a simple piece written to uh, appeal to the public and be taken up and done everywhere. There's nothing very complicated about it. It must be very successful, though it is, as I say, a hazard. 
work is immoral. All I wish from you is that you run my house for me so that I might work nothing else. And what do you offer in return? I've always offered you respect and friendship. You once offered love. You once gave love. I was always at your side, your devoted wife. You cannot attack me. I do. I accuse you of cruelty of infidelity and inadvertence. All that I ask is that you provide a home for me, a settled home. For you to come back to. Perhaps. You have thrown away every opportunity offered to you respectable life under the patronage of the court. In Dresden? Yes. Where I was a liveried servant. I was respected as Frau Kapellmeisterin. No. You are respected as Frau Wagner. I am Frau Wagner. Yes, you are. You are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> In the morning, I shine in rosy radiance. Soon all is lost from blood and fragrance. 
What was won quickly is soon turned sickly. Open to all was this garden of mine, both to the beastly and to the fine. Just bearable in this space I'll be coinage. Lead juice are the fruits of my fee. <laughs> From pillories, the aspirant calls me. <laughs> <laughs> On airy paths hang I from the tree. <laughs> Second chapter. <laughs> nice to sing it. <laughs> Hanslick, you're um, portrayed in it. You should feel very proud. It's not often a critic is advanced for immortality. I called him Becknesser. I had thought of calling him Arslick, as in Hanslick. Is this the house of Richard uh, Wagner? Wagner? Uh, thank you. Richard, it's a dressing gown. Where does he find the money to pay for it all? He has been to every Jew in Vienna. And this is what he does with it. All of this? Richard, how can you afford all this? The simple answer is, my dear Peter, that I can't. <laughs> my dear Tausig, you look so unwell. Oh, I... I've just agreed to stand surety for Richard, signed as much. I have agreed to cover some of his debts. Matt, what are you expecting from us? Frau Schott, Frau Schott. Oh. <laughs> Frau Schott, wife to my publisher. Meet Dr. Standhartner, physician to the Empress. You will have lots to talk about. Herr Schott, Herr Schott, you know Cornelius. Peter, Herr Schott refuses to advance me any more money. Any more. I am not No, your you partner. are not. You are not. You are the only real friend here. Listen, we must live together. We must. Live with you? Richard, you destroy your friends. I mean, look at them. You're generous, yes. Too generous. But you take everything from your friends. Everything. Their money, their women, their love. Everything. What are friends for? They've set the bumbies on me. They're here to dummy. I'm ruined. What can I do? A miracle must happen, otherwise it is finished. Then you must run. Where? You have your last penny for me. What kind of a publisher are you? You don't need a publisher. You need a rich banker or a prince with bottomless coffers. I'll talk to them. You go, Richard. Go. <laughs> My name is Tausig. I am surety for Herr Wagner. And who, if I may ask, is surety for you, Mr. Tausig? Gentlemen, Mr. Tausig. <clears throat> Heavens! Majesty, the strangers list from the chief of police. Every stranger in Munich today... Is he on it, Fistermeister? No, Your Majesty, although there are several Wagners and even one Richard. After all, it is a very common name, but this one is far too young, a, a mere youth of 19, a boy. Then if he isn't going to come to us, you'll have to go to him. Majesty, 
I can't wait another minute. Not another day. francs would be an excellent investment. I do assure you, Otto, you will be the person who gains. The ring is going to be a tremendous piece. You are to be my business partner insofar as the ring is concerned. I'll throw in uh, Meistersinger. Soon finish that if I can get a pension. And somewhere to live. Investment in what, Wagner? I already hold publishing rights to the ring. Investment in what? In me. In me, damn you, in me. Ah, Herr Wagner. A gentleman has been making inquiries about you. Name? Not a given. Official. Very. I'm off my luggage in 10 minutes, I believe. Sir. Thank you, Vaisendonk. But I will not take money from those who have no conception of my worth. I'm not a swindler. I can't live like this. The miserable life of a town organist. Like Master Bach. I must have beauty. Splendor, light around me. I am not as others. I have nerves that are sensitive as touch. The world owes me a consideration. And yes, yes, luxury. Is it such a shocking request that I, who have so much enjoyment to give the world, should ask for some little comfort in return? Come in, my luggage is ready. Herr Richard Wagner, musician and composer. Yes, yes, I am he. My card, sir. Private secretary to the King of Bavaria. I have that honor. Fidista Meister, sir. A young man, just come to the throne. Everything before him. He has everything he needs, is denied nothing. As the ruby glows in the ring, so the heart of his majesty burns with desire to greet the poet of Lohengrin. portrait. He wishes to see what once desires you to accompany me to Munich. Can you be ready for the five o'clock train? Ah. Uh. Herr Wagner, I shall expect you. Good day, sir.
It was a fascinating time. Bavaria had a new young king, brought to the throne of Bavaria by the early sad death of his father. I knew him. So, high hopes, the things that were expected of young Ludwig. On the surface, all was expectation and anticipation. A strong young king and a strong people, strong enough to depose young Ludwig's grandfather when he shocked him by his uh, liaison with a person. Shocking. A lady called Lola Montes. <laughs> But Germany was still in a turmoil. Not yet united, and Prussia intending to prevail by force of arms if necessary. The only state strong enough to stand in Prussia's way was Bavaria. Here in Saxony, Dresden. Well, Prussia had never forgiven us for allowing our little revolution. But Bavaria... Her strength lay in her people, eager to be led by their young king, looking to a new golden age. Aware that politicians were jostling for power, putting themselves forward for recognition by the new young king. Aware that these politicians would seek to influence the king, perhaps towards a treaty with Prussia. perhaps towards a surrendering of Bavaria's sovereignty for the sake of a united Germany at last. Into this cauldron of politics stepped Wagner, seeing only the calm surface, not the simmerings and seethings, seeing only his swan king, his perfect patron at last.
Herr Wagner, we have searched for you everywhere. Vienna, we heard you were there. Russia, Paris, Switzerland, everywhere. Since Lohengrin, as a boy, I have wished to meet you. We intend to give you everything. I have found you, and I shall be true to you to the ends of time. My debts are considerable. Oh. They amount to considerable sums. Considerable to me. To His Majesty, they are, of course, as nothing. I had to sell my snuff box to buy my train ticket to get here. Oh. Do you have a note of that? My uh, refund, of course? A house. Oh. The Brienne Strasser. Fashionable but quiet. Near to the King. Big enough for me and my assistant, Von Bulo, his wife, her children. His Majesty has offered me everything I need to perform my works. He owns me and my works. So together we shall give to the world a model. First things, a theatre. We must build a theatre, a real theatre. Uh. called because because here you will find sanctuary we will find sanctuary sent for from Zurich to make a start with the plans. And to complete the ring, then an opera called The Victors, then Parsifal in 1872, then in 1873, My Happy Death. As far as the world is concerned, I'm dead already. Work is the only thing. There should be no distraction. Nothing the world can do can obtrude because we are under the protection of a prince. The first time I saw it. Where? Where did you see it? Here, in Munich. I was a boy, but I knew when I saw it, it was what I'd always known. How was that? Since, oh, from the first awareness, Lohengrin must be about us, my family, us. I know, I know, in Bavaria. Everything comes together. The purest luck. I intend to make up for what you have suffered in the past. Though you cannot know, you have been the sole source of my delight from my earliest boyhood. I have lived in waiting for the day that I might give you life. See here.
You, who spoke to my heart as no other. You are to be simply my friend. No duties, no official appointments. Simply, simply majesty, that I shall be the friend. Every day, come to me. Every day. Forever. Look over here. See? Everything is known to me. I have read everything there is to read on the sagas. My imagination pictures them all. Siegfried, Brunhilde, Parsifal. But most of all, for I am he, Lohengrin, the Swan Knight. We will breathe life into them all together. Better than this, better. Real flesh and blood and sounds. What sounds? because we are still in mourning a few concerts. Yes, of course, of course, whatever your majesty commands. Some private studies of Siegfried? No. Bulo? <laughs> yes, Bulo. I shall appoint him. My Prime Minister, Forden, shall arrange it. <laughs> Eighteen years ago, when you were born, majesty. Friend. A friend, a friend. Uh, I, uh, then I had not done anything. Rienzi? Dutchman? Ah, yes, yes, but Rienzi was flawed, haunted by the ghost of Mayabir. Your music makes kings. Not too many of them, I hope, in Bavaria. <laughs> there is only one king in Bavaria, only one. You will adore Tristan. It's so simple, easy to stage. The Dutchman, first. Of course, of course, whatever you command. I'm very angry. You are? Your husband, Bülow, is an old friend and pupil. Apart from the pain it will cause to Bülow, to Minna, to all of us, this amour, you declare, could be very dangerous. You are under the patronage of Ludwig II, King of Bavaria, and that is something quite, quite uh, splendid. Now, you will know how wonderful life can be. La vie. Perhaps, yes, as it has, to some extent, been for me. Under the patronage of the Grand Duke. Le Duc. But there are certain obligations. He asks nothing of me. I don't have to wear livery. I don't have to perform for him like a monkey on a stick. He asks nothing of me but friendship. I see. Well, well... Maintenant, 
I must confess some envy. Cosima is my daughter, my fee, Richard. Her mother and I, well, well, if your friendship with Ludwig II Leroy is, is fast, safe, true, he is a god, a young god. Surely there is something, je ne sais quoi, to be cherished. Cosy, you must understand. Munich is not a great and cosmopolitan city like Paris or Berlin. The people can be scandalized, shocked by a liaison such as you appear to contemplate. Surely you understand that if this happens, it will damage your standing with Ludwig, destroy everything, the great opportunity you, Wagner, uh, I at last presented with uh, to... And there is the religious aspect. The what? Yes. The spirit. Oh, I've always been concerned with the spirit. Uh, there is uh, much work to be done. Yes, there is. When Bulow is better, he will be of tremendous help. Is he unwell? Yes, poor fellow. His nerves are shattered. Shattered. He reels from one sickness to another. I've uh, obtained a position for him at the court. Majesty, and even if it doesn't, the king, your son, can hardly come to harm by I consulting with the composer of operas, some of considerable merit, I am told, <laughs> all of them very German. Is he political? <laughs> there was Dresden. However, the Saxons have now seen fit to permit him to return. We are... Yes? ...not disturbed. Well, I am born a Saxon, in prison for debt, I hear, ran away from his creditors, stateless, Swiss passport, probably forged, now a Bavarian citizen. I ask you. Your nephew, sir, the king is filled up with romantic intentions. He sees knights with flags trot down every lane, cross every mountain. Not, I venture to hazard, a bad thing for a new young king not yet married. The more he thinks romantic, the less he will come to harm. But youth, I value it. He is not, uh, this Wagner, not too much artistically inclined. No, no, he is a person of uh, quite ordinary tastes, except... Uh, except? Well, his work, his music, it is considered sensual, erotic. <laughs> Young people are seduced by it, but there is no reason to believe that they are seduced to acts wayward. The king's mind will be filled with thoughts of the swan nights, maidens a swim in the Rhine, Venus. Well, why not? Why not? The sooner he gets married, the better. Indeed. Wagner must not be allowed to influence unduly. At the first sign. <sighs> Very well. Sire, might I present you one of the sins of my youth? Das Liebeswerbot, one of the first by a young man of 23, never properly heard to this day. First performed, if that is the word, in Magdeburg in 1836. The tenor could remember very little of it. At the time, took refuge in chunks of other, <laughs> other operas. 
would not have happened at all had my wife not sold her bracelet to pay the copyist. Is the ship you sailed in? Yes. Yes, it's wonderful. But... What? May I suggest... Of course. It must be right. Chased out by Russian Cossacks, we were... Debts. Debts. From Riga. On the run. No escape but the boat. The boat. And then caught in a storm, a storm so violent that it dashed against the protecting rocks, throwing up a great barrier of spray against the leaden sky. Then the calm, peace, the great stillness. The feeling that we were lost without a resting place, like the Dutchman. Alone. Time standing still. The beginning of a quest. Peace. The great stillness. If you look after the little notes, the big ones will look after themselves. So try it again now. No, 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 bist du mein? You realize what it means? Art thou mine is a confession of love. Now let's have some passion in it. I'll try it again. Just remember the words. Remember what the words mean. Forget the music for a second. Just look at the words. You must remember that the words are equally as important as the music. It is, after all, meant to be poetry. I hope it is poetry. So let us think the words, and the meaning will then be perfectly obvious to the audience. And we mustn't just get uh, mellifluous like those funny Italian operas. Let's try again. <laughs> Does this, this, this high C have to be that's very difficult to get? If you can't sing the high do, do we C, we will put it lower for you. You can take it a little faster and you can make it a little softer. You don't need to be fortissimo. Ignore what I've written down here. Try it again. I don't know whether your voices are tired, but you're shouting now. You're not singing, you're shouting. <clears throat> but it's so high, Maestro. 
We, 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 we're on the spot. It's no lie. It's a huge How can you sing the top C and, 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 and these things? And if you cannot yes. sing the top C, we'll find somebody who can sing the top C, shall we? Well, I think you'll find it rather difficult at this Well, this let's try it again. Moment let's not lose our tempers. Around. Let's try again, yes. shall we? Is your majesty as if you were able to see your dreams i would hope by placing of a proscenium within a very wide proscenium directing the gaze of the spectator towards the object the illusion a world focusing and refocusing until one is drawn into the illusion wonderful every seat in the theater is the best seat everything can be seen the orchestra? Under, under, unseen in a great bowl under the stage. An amphitheater in the Greek fashion. Semper, can we flood it? Ooh. Well, um... <laughs> Herr Wagner, you must help me to protect him. Ooh. Our king. Is he in danger? He has a great destiny. It's written in the stars. Who is it? The moon. Herr Wagner, you must protect him. Yes. You, you, you believe in the stars? Of course, of course. Oh, no, Herr Wagner, Herr Wagner. Oh, no, Herr Wagner. Look here, somebody ought to do something about that woman. Oh, look here, dangerous. No, no, just silly. 
Wagner is very dangerous, in my opinion. No, no, just ambitious. Aren't you? Aren't we all? Majesty? It is taking so long. Majesty? Tristan, aren't you longing to hear Tristan? Oh, longing, Majesty, longing. There must be more room for the orchestra. How can we find more room? Are you not used to full-size orchestras in Munich? Remove those seats. Seats? Yes, the first few rows of seats. Or do you wish us to go back to the residence theater? Surely, surely, Herr Bülow. Surely? We would lose more than 30 seats. Does that matter? Does it matter whether we have 30 Munich Schweinehunde in the audience? More or less? There are people waiting to see you, Richard. Who? Two people. They want you to ask the king for mercy on behalf of their son who's been condemned to death. Me? What is she? Tell, tell her to go away. They've tried everyone else. In the matter of the king's life. His life is dearer to me than my own. He must be protected. Is he not protected? Do, do you want me to tell him to go away? Uh, there are more important it's things. Mother, indeed. It is your duty to help this wonderful young man to fulfill his destiny. The, uh, you must understand. So I spoke to his father and his grandfather. I advised them that they would fall to the machinations of evil men and be destroyed. They would not listen to me. I can see it in the stars. You are his destiny. Do you want to see these people? People. Uh, Richard. Uh, Richard. Uh, Bulo. Richard. It goes well? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is uh, Ferdinand Lassalle who wishes you to intervene on his behalf so that he might marry the daughter of Baron, uh, what is it? Because he's Jewish. Wagner, our son is condemned to death, sir. Can we not go somewhere else? France, get rid of them. Our son, sir, condemned. I know Herr Lassalle is a friend and that he's deeply involved in the, this affair of the, of the daughter of... We wish only to keep our son alive. We love each other, Herr Wagner. You must understand that you, of all people... I must tell you this, sir. You are ambitious. The sort of man who does not scruple to use friends, who does not scruple to use anybody and anything for private means. Without her, I shall die. Perhaps, perhaps. Herr Wagner, our king, you must help him through the morass of evil influence, false advice given by politicians interested only in self-advancement, owing allegiance only to Prussia. You are his hope. 
condemned to death, have Doug I? Doug Wagner, help us to keep us alive. Get rid of them! Get rid of them! I said it. It's not you. Not you. They're beginning to howl, the dogs. Consumed with jealousy for me. The musicians, those that call themselves musicians. They had nothing worthwhile in Munich until we came. They will have everything when we leave because we give instead of take. Give rather than take. That is the truth of it. What are we trying to do? What? The school, so that we might produce singers like, like Schnorr here, who can sing as well as act. Theatre big enough, what? Nothing that is not essential. Food, wine, clean and soft clothes that I do not erupt in the in, in, in. Uh, I am sorry. I suggest that you apologize to the people of Munich. My apology is that I have failed you. But if you wish me to, I shall apologize to them. You must. Nothing must spoil what we have. All right, he's sold up. Filth and money. The artwork of the future is filth and money, Wagner. I know it. Is Bulo still here? Who gets into his wife's petticoats, eh? Bulo! Who is it who worms into your bed, eh? Excellent. Everyone else is a blockhead. Wagner is the only intelligent man I know. Indeed, sir. There is a question of the bill for a thousand. Paul, ask Wagner to come and see me. Majesty. Gilders? What bill? The bill for the artist commission. I apologize. And I've written my apology so that it might be published. When I spoke of Schweinehunde, I was not referring to the cultivated Munich public <coughs> who have always shown a proper appreciation of the work of this man. You are privileged to have in your midst. Pain to have in our midst. Yes, pain. Why should you not? I call you Schweinehunde. You who scheme and plot against Wagner. You who seek to undermine his friendship with the king. Herr Wagner? Sir? You wait. The king has sent for me, sir. Not today, thank you. Your wares are not required today, Herr Wagner. The king wishes to see me, sir. His majesty will not see you. His majesty sent his ADC to bring me to him. I was at rehearsal. That man, that man is my enemy. No, no. But you see, the portrait... The king does not like it. Yes, but in the matter of the bill... He doesn't regard it as the action of a friend. I beg your pardon? No, not the action of a friend. To send his majesty a portrait and then ask his majesty to pay for it. But he asked me to have it painted. My boy commissioned it. His majesty regards this as a gift. And is very displeased that you should ask. Even poorest girls who, who give to the king anything, anything, they are reimbursed, are they not? Certainly so. But you are no chorus girl, Herr Wagner. We must remember Lola Montes. Must we? She is still fresh in the memory of the people of Bavaria. That little business between her and the king's grandfather, you know. Is that any reason why I should be concerned? Oh, yes, Herr Wagner. Oh, yes. You are already being spoken of as another such as she. How disgusting. And there are stories being circulated about your relationship with the Baronin von Bülow. How petty. How true. I cannot answer. I am set back on my heels always by scurrility. I'm astounded that such things should be said. The house has been bombarded, stones at the windows. Why? Herr Wagner, we love our king. We are jealous of him. He is ours. You come from nowhere. Bring others with you. Foreigners, Protestants, people who are not the people of Bavaria. It is a very ancient kingdom. There is a bond between monarchy and people. You have been seen to come between. 
He, our young king, seems to prefer your company to that of others, to the proper exercise of his duties, seems to... Oh, now that is not altogether wrong, provided that you are an influence for the good. Like the beautiful Princess Sophie, how well he rides with her. Oh, do look at them. He delights in her company, the pleasure they take in each other. Altogether good, altogether proper. Tea, Herr Wagner, tea. I must go back to the theater. How goes the opera? How goes it? How is it? How goes it? If I told you, would you understand? Perhaps not. I was simply being polite. I will now be somewhat less than polite and ask, well, whilst the whole of Munich waits with bated breath for your Tristan and Isolde or, or Siegfried, is it, or oh, whatever else in years to come, you will slowly and laboriously, and I have no doubt very well do, <laughs> is it anywhere in your nature to be a little quicker and a little less extravagant? Sufficient comfort and food and reasonable wealth should surely be enough for any artist. Actors, singers, dancers, some of them can be very good on very little. Horses do wonders with a little kindness. I am not a horse. <laughs> no, no. Why should you be? But uh, there are those who would have me removed. Me, your friend. Thornton jostles. Influence. If you could see your way to influence the king, after all, you have your house, money, a very snug jointure. Well, heavens, anything you wish. Would you be so kind as to uh, present certain political facts that I shall give you to His Majesty on my behalf? Minister, what do you suggest? As if I were some paid hireling, some little actress, some kept and remunerated creature in an apartment on the Brienne Strasse, waiting on visits and chocolates, legs spread, ass cushioned, whispering your request into the ear of my royal paramour? Herr Wagner. I assure you, sir, I am no Lolo Montez. Lolot. There are suggestions. Gossip. Do not listen. I do not. Not to gossip. Wagner's love of silk? That he corrupts the minds of the young with his music? That he wraps himself in dress lengths like a woman? A revolutionary once, a petty rest now. Such nonsense. Herr Wagner loves only himself. If he refuses to see me, it'll be all over Germany in weeks. I shall be ruined. I've said humbly, do I stay? Shall I go? Shall I stay? Your will is mine. If I go, it will be to some distant land. I will never return to Germany. For my works, I will do what I can. But I will sever completely the connection between the man and the glorious youth. No. You hear more of this, I'm sure. My master, Herr Wagner. Your master had his last bill paid by my king. It is well known. <laughs> So it is for the friend, friend to decide. One word and joyfully accept my fate. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my spiritual forces are at their utmost tension. I must know by which decision to go or to stay will bring peace to you, my dear one. What? The boy is an innocent. He will never understand our love. Bulo looks forward to the birth of his child. Bulo, my dear Bulo.
There must be no more gossip. Nothing more must reach the king. Your boy. <laughs> How's the child? Strong. <laughs> you? Exultant. I want to claim that child. A gentleman here to see you, Herr Wagner. The name given as Dr. Schaus. Are they all gathering? Vultures? Shit. Schaus. Shit. <laughs> Do you all gather on the carcass? Herr Wagner, Madame Schwabe simply requests payment of the few francs extended to you in time. I know she requests that grotesque to us, I know. Rather than send a clerk or a, a distraint, I came myself. Now that well, you have come, you have a kept man. But surely the king and all this and your great opera about to open. Madame Schwabe has the greatest admiration for you, would always make this... She charges, she and charges interest. That is consequent on you putting your name to stamp paper. I have argued. This, 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 this is because, has come about simply because you've all heard I was spurned by the king. Oh, surely not. Spurned for a paltry few hundred guilders. Damn you, I'll pay for the portrait myself. Interest, she charges interest. This bloody woman, this bloody Jew has charges interest. The theatre alone will bankrupt the state. If we allow it to be built. I don't know for the life of me see how it can be prevented. Oh, we can. He started so well. Well? Who? Our oh, young king. So well. He did, though. Did he not? I always thought he was a regular chap. Well, at least he has all his wits. Not like his brother Otto, wandering naked round altars. At least he does have all his wits. And I see if he's able to keep them. Hmm. There's something in there. Well, there is something in there. Thank you.